My name is Kwasi Kwarteng, I'm the MP for Spellthorn, and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at BP in Sunbury to celebrate the Year of Engineering and also BP's crucial role in that. I think it's fabulous today that we've got so many kids from local schools coming in to enjoy and also to learn, to learn about opportunities and skills, and particularly uh, skills relating to engineering and technology. One of the big challenges we have in engineering is lack of diversity. There's too few females and people from minority backgrounds coming into engineering. Days like today are massively important in helping a broad range of young people see that engineering careers can be for them and it might be the thing that excites them and gives them a great future. BP is one of the original supporters of the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering and in particular we've been supporting the Ambassador Programme. We see this as a really important step in both recognising the contributions of our younger engineers but also supporting them in engaging more young people in the world around them, helping to explain the impact that engineering has on humanity and society. Engineering, new technology, is really at the centre of economic development. And that's why this government is particularly keen that young people really engage with subjects like engineering. Young people are inspired by things where they can see themselves in those roles and they can see the impact of those technologies and particularly the impact of engineering on society and on people around them. What the Queen Elizabeth Prize does is showcase those examples that have really changed the world for the better. And through that, we can create the links for those young people to see how they might get into similar careers and to be able to create those advances in the future. The future is upon us now. The British economy has to change. And there are so many innovations, so many exciting opportunities that new technology can give our people and give our young people particularly in the years ahead.